Hello and welcome my fellow homo sapien friends and today we are doing a war mine video and will it save Destiny 2 from being the dead graveyard that it actually is at the moment. Now funnily enough actually I came back onto this a couple of days ago and I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean it's it's one of those games where I feel that a bit of time away from it and then come back to it is needed for this at the moment and with obviously the new Warmind DLC only coming out on Tuesday we don't have much longer to wait. Now personally I'm actually quite excited for this new Warmind DLC but I don't know whether it's because it's something new and it gives me a reason to go back into Destiny 2 or whether it it just looks fantastic. Like I can't be decided quite at the moment but this isn't a problem, this is a good thing. With the new DLC, we're obviously getting new, new exotics, new weapons, new armors, new things to do and new places to explore, and new enemies to defeat. Now, obviously, they're only Hive with, like, icicles across them and stuff like that, but I feel that the new boss, which is obviously the giant worm, which I feel will be a right pain in the arsehole. Ah, uh ah, -huh. uh -huh. arsehole. You get it? Yeah, I know. I tried this joke a few times already, and it got about as many laughs as I'm getting right now. So, if you, you know, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's just my sense of humor. It's just stupid dad jokes. That's what I do. With the new DLC as well, there'll be lore-based scannables around the area. Now, we already have these in Destiny 2 already, currently dotted around each world, and some of the lore behind it and some of the secrets that you unlock are actually quite interesting. So it'll be interesting to hear some of the An Anna Bray sort of stuff and the family and the obviously Rasputin and why the Hive are there and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to find out some of the story from them. Obviously you can check out My Name is Bife. Uh, he does a lot of lore videos for Destiny and they're actually really interesting. And the guy's got an amazing voice, I've got to say. He has a real storyteller voice, but y you probably already know that anyway. Now the thing I'm most looking forward to is the Escalation Protocol. And I'm mainly looking forward to this because it's got brand new armor sets for all three classes and they all look fantastic, apart from the Hunter one because it looks trash. But I'm not really a Hunter guy, I'm more of a Titan. Yeah, I know, a Titan. The, the, e the easiest class to be with, but I don't know if you've ever used a Titan, they are not easy. They're fucking bullet sponges and just so sluggish. They need to be more powerful than they actually are, especially in PvP when you try and punch someone, you fucking, you have to hit them three times, but everyone else hits you once or twice and you're dead. So they, they, the Titan could be a lot stronger than it or it is, and I think I feel that that, that needs a bit of patchwork, but I, I personally love the Titan. I, I quite like the heavy hitters, and the subclass abilities are absolutely fantastic for the Titan as well. So, and they're all very useful. Now, obviously, they had the live stream last week, which revealed a fair amount of the DLC, but not a lot of the DLC. Now, bear in mind, if you took if to take you back to Curse of Osiris, they revealed pretty much everything that you had and everything that you could do and stuff like that. And from the time you actually got to the game, it was. It was boring and it was very underwhelming because you already knew what was coming. Whereas I feel that they've learned from this experience and told us only what we we, we kind of need to know basically. And uh, they're expecting us to go out, find all these secrets and you know, discover all these new fascinating things and enemies and places to go and maybe some new armors and weapons from the vendors. Like, because at the moment, like, we've had the same armor sets for each vendor all, well, since release, really. And honestly, I've got them all. I'm tired of the looking at them, to be fair. I want something new. I want that new kind of, wow, okay, you know, the, the vendor on, uh, let's say Mercury, for instance. It looks fantastic. Like, maybe have, like, a rechange of that and maybe have some different skinned weapons and stuff like this. Obviously, I complain a lot about this in most of my videos about Destiny. That a lot of their armor sets and weapons and stuff like that look really dull and very unimaginative. And that, you know, in my eyes, I'm, I'm a collector of armor and weapons. Uh, I mean, a lot of the weapons in my vault 
I probably will never use. I've just kept them there for just in case I can't ever get them again like I did in Destiny 1. So it would be cool to have like a, a, re, a revamp with armor and weapons with each vendor. That's not just on Mercury, obviously. That's that's everywhere, you know, like the EDZ and stuff like that. It would be nice to have like a rechange, especially as like I've got a few tokens in my inventory as well. So it would be nice to actually delve into those and use them. Now obviously we saw a glimpse of the giant worm god Zol and you know the actual size of him looks freaking huge. This boss fight is going to be absolutely epic. Like I'm wondering like whether it will actually be a challenge to take him down and whether it's going to be a long battle or where it's just going to be like a a strike sort of level boss, you know, the ones that you can you can re you can do in pretty much like quick succession and get it done. I'm wondering whether that'll be the case with this boss. I might be wrong, and this might actually be more of a like a, a nightfall kind of challenge, which would be great. I'm wondering if there's like some end game armor or weapons or just gear or ships or something like that that you can get obviously from completing the story. There normally is. There's normally like a, an emblem or or something that you can claim once you've completed the story. Now again, like I said, they've only discussed little bits of the new DLC. The bits that I'm I want to know is how many story missions are going to be because obviously in Curse of Osiris there was three and obviously you had the adventures which you could make heroic so in total they had nine but it, it's the same mission twice so in theory it was only six so I'm hoping that this DLC has a lot more story to it a lot more missions and maybe make the missions longer as well because it we kind of just flew through it and it was it was kind of over in a few hours and I don't want that. It'd be interesting to see how big the map size is as well and whether or not we're going to be using sparrows. Like on Mercury, it's, it, I know it is a pain not having your sparrow on there. However, you do have the interceptors that randomly drop and plus it's a small map. Like, it would make it so much smaller if you had your sparrow because you'd just blitz it in about a second. So it 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 is it does kind of make sense not to be able to have your sparrow there, but it it I can get that it is quite annoying. So I can see both sides of this. Now personally, I'm really looking forward to this, and I will be streaming this on release as well. So if you are you're not sure of whether or not you want to get the new DLC, and you want to come back to De Destiny at some point, maybe. You know, tune into that and I'll be running that with my friend Alistair, who is obviously on PS4 with me. So that'll be quite fun and interesting. And we normally have a little banter, the pair of us. Obviously, we normally have a third in our little group, but he's a uh, uni, so we won't be uh, streaming with him. But we will be on Wednesday, so we'll have a full team on Wednesday. But obviously Tuesday, it's just going to be my, me and my friend. So if you are interested in that, please, please follow me and, and you can have some fun with that. And say hello. Now, I realise in this video I've ranted quite a lot, that this is what I do, I rant, I rant quite a bit, I ramble, and I talk about shit, basically, and this is what my channel is all about, me talking and trying to get people to listen. <laughs> so, obviously, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like, let me know in the comments section down below what you think of the new DLC, and whether it's going to entice you to come back, and don't forget to subscribe, and obviously hit the bell so you never miss any of my videos. It's been great having your support over the last few, well, months actually. In June, I will have been doing this channel a year, so I may do a special video and maybe a special giveaway for that. Maybe if I can get something together, which I will work on, obviously for you guys, because it's been fantastic having your support over the last few months. Now, thank you very much for watching this video. Please take care and see you soon.